Star Pilots from across the galaxy, welcome back to the Sith Taker YouTube channel for episode 2 of Sith Take 2.0, our X-Wing Miniatures Match Report series showing off Stockport's finest X-Wing pilots. Today we are joined by Colm and Will, let's meet those pilots now. Hi, my name's Colin Brown. I've been playing X-Wing for two and a half, three years. My favourite list in 1.0 was five A-Wings with Snapshot and Crackshot. Hi, my name's Will Pinter. I've been playing X-Wing for around, just, just around a year now. My favourite list from 1.0 definitely had to be a Sarge Scout. The list I'm bringing today is a Scum Swarm with seven ships. It has Dreyer and Thal in a Y-Wing, two Jakku Gunrunners and four Z-95s. The list I'm bringing today uh, we called Rubber Dinghy Rapids. It's an autopilot drone, a Palob in the Hawk, a Bobber in a Fire Spray, and then finally just a lone Jakku Gunrunner. The upgrades along with this are Fearlessness and Seismic, a Marauder title, and a few other bits more on Bobber. Palob has got L337 Elusive in the Moldy Crow title, and Jakku Gunrunner is just naked. My tactics today are to try and draw Will's list through the rocks so that way I can have all of my guns shooting at uh, his ships with very few of his ships having a shot in return and that way I can maximise my fire firepower and damage while minimising what I take back uh, and if I do that correctly I should get far enough ahead in the damage race and he just won't be able to kill enough of my ships in time before I finish him off. My tactics today um, all really depend on setup so I'm going to try and spread the rocks out a bit um, to get full use of the seismic charges on Bobber um, uh, depending on how he sets up will depend on whether I go for the joust but I'm definitely going to use the autopilot drone for control at the very beginning um, after that it's all about setup and, um, and then where, where we decide to go from there Right Colm, we're at initiative points both at 200 so what would you like, hits or misses? Uh, I'll have hits please oh, I will let you take initiative All right, sweet. Ok so I'm going to set the first rock I'm going to put a nice big one there. Your one's first, Cole. Mm -hmm. So that's all my ones, so my next one is a four, so... Okay, so I'll place mine down my little torpedo of death. <laughs> Finally, the PS the resistance. Oh, right. Dreyer's first. All oh, right, okay. I wonder where Boba's gonna go. I might change it now. <laughs> so I'm gonna set Dre up here with the turret, dorsal turret point to the right. Okay. Now I've seen set up, um, he's placed the rocks a bit too much in the centre for my liking. I wanted them a bit more spread out, but I'm going to work with that. Uh, I'm going to fly the drone up the middle. Um, I'm not really bothered about it hitting rocks because it's going to blow up anyway. Um, I'm probably going to faint maybe with the uh, Jakku Gunrunner and the Hawk and then just power bobber up the side and then come in. I think overall I'm pretty happy with how that deployment went. The rocks are all quite clustered in the centre and what Will's done is separated his ships across the across his board edge. So I think what I'm going to do is basically turn away from Paylob and the quad jumper and head straight for Boba uh, and it will take such a long time for Paylob to, and the jumper to get through the rocks that I should have an advantage I think. Five. He's going to do a hard one to the right. And for his action, he'll take a focus. Okay. This guy is also going to do a hard one and then he will barrel roll to the right. Number one is going to hard two to the right and take a focus. Okay. So, number three is going to hard two to the right, so I'm going to mark up number four so that I can perform the maneuver easily. So, we'll do that hard two and then do a barrel roll. So number three got a stress token because his barrel roll is red. I'll now activate number four, who will also do a hard right two barrel roll to the right and get a stress token. Right, number two is going to follow the pattern, hard two right on a barrel roll, 
getting a stress token. So I'm going to move my kamikaze autopilot drone and he's going to do a three bank right. And as I suspected, he's going to go onto the rock, but I'm not really bothered. So here we go. Ah, and of course he does. Lizard. <laughs> so the jacket gun runner then, he's going to do a hard two. And this guy is going to do a focus. So this one next, he's going to we're going to do a hard two as well, and he's going to focus. And because of Mouldy Crow, at the end of the turn, he gets to keep that focus. Dre is going to hard two to the right, and spinner dorsal turret to point to her left. Hard two, right. And then spin the arc. Okay. Bob Fett, my champion, he's going to go four forward, and then he's going to do a one bank boost to the left. First turn, I thought he was going to come forward with the joust. He's actually turned right, so what? Well, it's kind of messed my plan up with the autopilot drone. But still, what I'm going to do now is turn with Bobber and try and come back on myself and drag him through the rocks. Okay, so that went pretty much as I expected up until Boba did that boost to the left. So I think Will is trying to faint me out, and he'll either turn into attack or turn left to try and drag me through the rocks. So I'm just going to slow roll forward because I don't want to get dragged through the rocks and I don't want to overcommit. So I'll just see what he does this time. Okay, first activation of the new round, I'm going to move number five, one forward, and take a focus action. Okay. All of my initiative one ships are going to go one forward, the Z95s will clear their stress, and all five ships will take a focus action. So, autopilot drone, he's going to do a three bank. And because the template goes through the rock for the second time, he is going to have to roll for the rock again. Here we go. Can we go for it a second time? Oh, got away with that one. So both of these guys are going to be doing a one forward each, and they're both going to focus. Okay, Dre is going to one forward and focus. So Bobba is going to do a one bank left. What a coward. Man of mystery. <laughs> and he's going to one ball. bank boost. <laughs> so it doesn't look like anything's in range? No. Nope. So we're just going to move on to round three. As expected, Boba turned away. So this round, what I think we're going to do is be a little bit boring and just one forward again. That'll let the escape craft blow up without doing really any damage to my list. And I'll get to see what he plans to do with Boba. Hard to you in and boost back around, or go all the way around the rocks again. We'll see what happens. Now I'm hoping, uh, now I've seen what he's doing, I'm hoping he's going to turn in so I can hopefully get a bit of damage in with that drone. I'm going to bring Bobba back on himself, like I said earlier, and definitely try and drag him through them rocks. And that's my only plan at the moment, and then hopefully later on I can turn in and go in for the kill. Uh, all of my initiative one ships are once again going to go one forward and focus. He's going to do a three bank left and he's going to barrel roll to the right and try and get in range to do a bit of damage. Like I said, the barrel roll right and I'm going to try and go as far forward as I can because I'm going to blow up at the end of this turn. The quad jumper and the hawk are both going to go one forward. Really exciting moves right now um, and they're both going to focus. Okay, Dre is going to go one forward and then I'm going to see where I am relative to the escape craft before I decide my action. So I don't think I'm in range one of the escape craft, so I'm going to take a disrespect target lock. So Boba Fett's going to do a hard two and then a one bank boost. So ends of activation, that would have flipped and now this guy blows up. However, there's no one in range one. So nothing happens, and he'll just give Colm an easy 12 points. I'll just take my target lock back, thank you. Lizard. <laughs> Everything's miles away from being in range for shooting, so we're on to the next round. Okay, I think uh, this round Will's committing to coming in with Boba, either through the rocks or directly at me, so I think it's about time I turned in. 
So looking at this game now in a tournament setting, I'd probably you know still be a bit coy about things and skirt around the outside. But what I'm actually going to do just for a laugh is just going to fire it in with Bobo, start getting stuck in, and see what melee damage I can do. Why not? It's a laugh. Okay, so the first ship to activate will be this quad jumper. It's going to turn into the left with a hard two and take a focus action. Okay, once again, I'm not showing much imagination. All the initiative ones are doing the same move and they're all doing a focus action. So the Jacky Gunrunner is going to do a two bank and focus, and the Hawk is going to do a three bank. However, it might bump, but I'm not really bothered because I've got the two focus tokens. Just a shaky hands. As I suspected, the bump. Okay. Andrea is going to go two forward to slot in in a nice safe position behind everyone else and take a focus token. Wow, one of your ships has different dial movers to the rest. So Bobber is going to hard one and then and then come back round on himself with a one bank boost. Bloody hell, he's not a coward anymore. He's coming in baby, he's coming <laughs> for you. So I'm a little bit surprised how aggressively Boba's come in there. Uh, I don't think it's the best engagement for me as he won't be in Drea's arc so I won't get my rerolls. But ultimately I don't think I'll take much damage and I'll be in a pretty good position next turn for blocking him and getting nice shots. Too. Obviously like I said I've probably been a bit more aggressive than what I was normally going to be. So I've turned him with Boba. I'm going to go for his Jakku because really I don't want to be getting trapped anywhere. So I'm going to try and pepper that first and then just plough in as best I can next turn. Bobba shooting first. Now before I engage, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a stress token and take two focus tokens. And the reason I can do this is because I've got Han Solo Gunner. Before I engage, I may perform a red action and perceptive co-pilot. Once again, get a focus action, I gain another focus token. So I've got two for the engage and the defense. And I will be shooting that Jakku there. So here we go then. Three red dice against your Jakku Gunrunner. Uh, there we go, two blanks and one hit. No re-rolls, bit disappointing, but hey ho, we'll see what happens. Okay, three agility dice because it's at range three. And I'll spend my focus to not take any damage. Lizard. Okay, so the Jacky Gun Owner is gonna shoot back at Boba at range three, two dice. One hit, one focus. Natties. Yeah. Wasted those, mate. Natties. <laughs> <laughs> Next shot, Bonari, range three, up okay, over. Two attack dice at range three. Two hits, love it. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. I tell you, I think I've robbed H's dice. <laughs> so, even though I was more aggressive there, it actually didn't pay off. Um, I mean, next turn, I've got a lot of shots coming at me and I'm stressed, so I'm pretty much going to one bank into him and hope I can tank as anything as I can and give as, as good as I can get. That's really my only hope at this stage, and like I said, because it's for a laugh, why not let the fun begin? Okay, the first move I'm going to do is a three bank right with this quad jumper, and I'm going to see if I'm in range to tractor boba. <laughs> So I think Boba's in range one, so I'm going to try and give him a tractor beam token. Yeah, he is in range one, so I'm going to pop on a tractor beam token. So that reduces his agility by one. Oh dear, this is going to hurt. Okay, so number one is going to two bank to the right and take the focus action. Number four is also going to two bank focus. Number two is going to one bank and focus. Okay, and then both. The Jacky Gun Runner and the Bonari Pirate are going to one bank to the right and focus. Jacky Gun Runner is going to three bank right and he's going to focus. So the Hawk is going to two hard right and he is going to flip his uh, dial to the left. And I said, I'm going to spin. Dre is going to one bank to the left and take the focus action. So Bobber is going to one bank to the left. Does it fit? Oh, it does. You beauty. And he's going to boost forward to get out of most as many people's arcs as possible. There we go. I'll take that. So we're going on the shooting. Um, I am going to take the focus um, to, uh, and give me the stress for two focus tokens for the defence. But also, 
it looks like it's millimetres out. I am absolutely gutted about that. Okay, at initiative four, Dre is going to take a range three shot on Boba. Okay, so I get two red dice. Uh, Will only gets two greens in return because even though it's range three, he has a tractor beam token. So let's see how we do. One hit. Yes. Oh, he lives. So they're all range three shots from Palob but I'm basically going to go for this guy. Even though it's through a rock, I can get one more dice um, with my primary. My three dice. Um, I'm going to have to spend <laughs> my focus token because I, I want at least try and get some damage through. So I get four greens. Yeah, and you're standard. Okay. So this Z95 is going to take a range two shot into the quad, quad jumper. Okay, two red dice, one hit. Oh, I'm going to have to spend that focus. Okay, Okay. and then this Z95 is also going to take a range two shot and do the same target. Okay, so two red dice against two green. One hit again. Come on, baby. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, quad jumper is going to take the range two shot into Boba. So it's two red dice against one green. Two hits. Oh, I'm definitely taking damage. Oh, so I'm only taking one though. I'm happy with that. Okay, this is a 95, it's going to take the range, three shot onto Boba. Right, two red dice, two hits again. Oh, lizard. Oh, but I'll only take one. Yeah, well, you got a re-roll with Boba. I've got a re-roll with Boba. Oh, Boba's ability. Thanks for getting in at range one of me, Cole. Yes, and he survives! Boba is a broken. beast. <laughs> Thank you, hate for the dice. Okay, and then the last z 95, he's going to take a range, three shot of Boba through a rock. Okay, two red dice. I'll spend my focus. Free for me. Oh, but I get a re-roll with Bobber. Don't do it with him. Oh, I actually take another damage. Justice. Oh. So my Jakku is going to shoot his Jakku at range two. I'm happy with that. So my two red dice against his two green dice. Come on, baby. Get me the paint. One crit. Oh, come on. I don't want to take a crit. It counts. Oh, you're going to keep that in the tray. <laughs> so that's the end of this turn. We'll clean up and it's back to dials. I turn Bobber slightly away, hoping to get him in my rear arc with the re-rolls. Um, I thought he was going to come a bit faster forward, so it actually didn't work out for me and nothing ended up in my rear arc. But I live to fight another day. But now I'm in a really tough position. Um, hopefully he's not going to see the seismic bomb come in and I'm going to drop that and do some damage for the rest of his ships and hopefully smash out Bobber with a few more shots. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a, a spicy turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my quad jumpers in to try and trap your Boba while I turn the rest of the list off to try and kill uh, the quad jumper. So I think with the tractors I can get Boba out of the game for a few turns, maybe even off the board. Um, so we'll see how it goes. It might be an idea that's more cheeky than it is good, but <laughs> hopefully it'll work out. Okay, first activation is going to be... Wait, before you do that, there's a system phase. Ooh. And I'm going to drop a bomb. I thought you might. So, I'm going to drop a bomb, it's going to be a seismic bomb, with my little bomb dropper here, from Element Games. Okay, so what I'm going to do is one hard this quad jumper to the right, and I'm going to try and give Boba some tractor tokens. Okay, so the quad jumper is definitely in range one of Boba, and Boba is in fact in my bullseye arc, so when I give him tractor beams, I give him two tokens. And what I'm going to do, because now the medium base is tractored, I'm going to boost him forward. Okay, here we go, one straight. Getting near the edge of the board. I wonder what Will's done. So I'll just keep it rolling. Cool. Uh, this gun runner is going to stay in the hunt on the tail of Boba. He's going to one hard to the right and he will take a focus. Okay, and here comes my plan of trying to split up my swarm. So this guy is going to go one bank left forward and he will take a focus action. And this pirate is going to do exactly the same. Okay, and both of these pirates are also going to one bank left and take the focus action. So that's, that's him and a focus token each. One bank uh, for the quad jumper, and I think that is gonna it is gonna bump, so he's not gonna get any actions. That's a bit unfortunate, really. So the hawk is gonna do a hard two in because of what's happening on the other side of the board. I'm gonna try and do some damage, um, so I'm gonna target lock this guy right here. Number two. Yeah. Okay, Andrea is just going to slowly move one forward, staying in a safe position and taking a focus token. So this way, Bobber does a one bank left, 
Oh, oh, I think it's close. Is it going to be? Oh, and he's off the board. Well played, Cole, man. You lizard. I almost feel bad about that. Now we're going to move this bomb, range one, onto the rock. And then anything within range one after that blows up is going to take a damage. So it's anywhere from the rock, range one from the rock. I'll stick a finger down. No, he's good. He's good. He's good. So it's just the two Jakus and we'll take one damage. Drea does no shot with her dorsal because Paylob's out of range, so she's going to take her primary at range two. On so the it's going to be two red dice against two greens. No. So Paylob's going to take a range one shot on the guy he's got a target lock to. So four dice. I'll take that. So four dice, one extra for Moldy Crow and one extra for um, my being range one. Um, I will spend one of my focus tokens. Come on, little pirate. I'm definitely spending that focus, so I'm going to lose two shots. Number one is going to take the range one shot into the gun. Okay, we could do some big damage here. Three dice, and I'll spend my focus for two hits and a crit. I've got two dice. <laughs> Come on, baby. Um, I take hit, crit. Oh, that's not good, especially on a gun runner with no shield. So the Jakku takes one hit and one crit. Oh, it's a fuel leak. If I get another crit, oh, I'm in big, big trouble. I think I'm in big trouble anyway, though, to be fair. So I'm going to make the easy decision first. Number four only has one shot, so I'm going to take the range one into pay. Three red dice. I can reroll one of these because the Paylob is in Drea's arc. Oh, only one. Disappointing. I'll take the two green dice from Paylob. And that'll do it. So number two is going to take the range one into the gun runner. Uh, try and finish it. Three dice for a range one. I can reroll one of these because in Drea's arc. Only one again. Come on, baby, you can do this. Whoa. No, <clears throat> I'd take another damage. Okay, and then the last of my Zeds also has a range one shot into the gun runner. Let's see if we can kill him this time. Three dice for a range one. Ooh, I'll reroll that with Drea. And spend my focus. This could be it. Oh, I'm in trouble there. Only two health left. I need natties. I need natties. Oh, almost. He tried. He tried. He failed. He's dead. So before this Jakku runner comes off the board, he gets a turn, turn shot. I'm going to see if I can get this Zed off the board before we finish the game and actually get some points somewhere. So three dice at range one. No re-rolls. Here we go. Come on. Two hits. Oh, I need an evader. He's dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. I've done it. I've at least got some points. There's no more shooting. That round went pretty well for me. Let's go back to Dolls to see if Paylob can pull this one out on his own. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't exactly go to plan there, did it? I completely bottled it with Bobba. I shouldn't have. I should have just turned in and I paid the price for it. I did see Colm's move come in and it was pretty good, let's be honest. Off the board, nearly a full health Bobber. That just ruined the game for me as from a from a winning standpoint okay so it turns out that plan wasn't just cheeky it was also good uh getting bob off the board like that was obviously huge i think this game is in the bag now there's just not enough time left for will to do enough damage to my ships to claw enough points back so i'm probably just going to try and bump paylob turn the rest of my ships around to see what happens the, this turn i'm going to see if i can get some out of it and get hopefully clink a few more points but let's be honest that's game over on cole's one list he's got it in the bag Okay, so both of my quad jumpers are just going to turn around with a two sloop to the right. This obviously nests them a stress token as it's a road manoeuvre. Okay, number one is going to turn around with a 4k, try and avoid the debris. does, get some a stress token. Uh, number one, I couldn't really think of a great position for him to be in, so he's just getting out of the way really. He's going to hard two to the right and take a focus token. Okay, number three is going to go one forward and take a focus. So, Paylob is going to three bank. Okay, and then I'm going to spin the dial back the way and try and get a shot on that Z that will hopefully be behind me if I don't bump. There we go. And then, as I said, oh, you're trying to keep the ship still, spin the arc back. Okay, Andrea is just going to one bank forward and left. And let's see, uh, I will take another disrespect target lock to end the game. Okay, so Dre is going to give uh, Paylob the broadside, three dice at range one with the draw. Three dice. I'll re-roll these with the... get 
L33-7 to get you to re-roll all those dice. All of them? All of them, baby. Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. One hit. That's more like it. My two dice against his one hit. <laughs> Easy. Of course, Paylob's tanked it. He's a beast. <laughs> Paylob out the back. Three dice at this little guy here. With a bit of luck, I can get some half points on that. Three dice out the rear with a focus. He hits, he takes two. So if I can get some paint, I'll dodge getting half points on this guy. Easy, of course no he problem. does. does. Okay, and his gun runner is going to take a range two unmodified shot onto Payload. Here we go, hoping for some natties on two dice. One hit. Come on, Payload. Tank all this. Yes, go on. No bother. Okay, last shot of the round is going to be this Z95 here, taking a range three shot through a rock at Payload. Payload's got four green, so I'll need some hot dice uh, on these two to do any damage. And I do not get them. I'll roll the green dice anyway. Oh! Hey, it would have been good if you had a hit, wouldn't it? <laughs> so I can see where the game's been uh, going. I just can see it's a call, because let's be honest, I was in no space to even be in the game. Right, good game, mate. Good well game played. for you, bad game for me. Well played, mate, well played. So he played a good game. I played. I didn't play well and he out flew me completely. So, hey, it is what it is. It's X-Wing, baby. Okay, happy to have gotten the win on that one. Pretty happy with how the list performed. Definitely think I'll fly it again. Uh, I don't think the game really uh, progressed as I expected after deployment, but it was fun. Uh, again, glad to have got the win. So there you have it, episode two of our Sith Take 2.0 match report series is done. How did you find that, gentlemen? <laughs> Stop all sure. finest. <laughs> sure, Colm had a good time. <laughs> how did that play out? Did it play how you expected, Colm? Uh, not especially, but you know, it worked out for me. Yeah, so uh, what, how did you expect the game to play out when you saw the two lists? What did you think was going to happen? I thought Will would be a bit more direct with how he flew Boba. I wasn't expecting him necessarily to like try and run away and lead me through the rocks and things. So that was uh, not quite what I was expecting. But I think ultimately, I think it benefited me to not have to deal with Boba right in my face. Yeah, how about yourself? Yeah, I bottled my game plan, didn't I? I gobbed off to the camera and then bottled it, let's be you honest. You did, you did. Um, you told these guys you were going in and you... Well, I thought I was going to get him out. in the rear arc and get it big, give it big licks, but I, it didn't work out and ultimately, Cole smashed me for it. And there were millimetres in that, and millimetres in this game can of course be the be the decider oh, well, between yeah. extreme failure <laughs> <It> was then, <laughs> uh, and success. So of course there was a, a, a really key moment that you didn't expect at all, and that of course was the tractor beam tokens with the boost. Yeah, um, I, I, I seen it maybe coming in and I, I thought automatically you'd barrel roll me onto the rock. Um, yeah, I didn't see the boost. And even if I did see that, I, I was thinking about doing a one four with myself and I thought it'd fit. Getting used to these medium bases in 2.0s, you know, it's, it's still get everyone. I'm still getting used to it. We'll see. And how are you finding that as a list to fly? The uh, what's it called? The Dreya Swarm. The Dreya Swarm. Calling it, yeah, because Dreya's the linchpin. She's basically Scum Howl Runner. Uh, I'm liking it a lot. I really love flying lists with lots of ships. This is great. Lots of different options. Very powerful. We'll definitely keep flying. And we're probably going to see some more swarms from you in the future. Almost certainly. Uh, and how about yourself? How are you finding your list? Of course, you did very well with it at the opening 2.0 tournament uh, element. Probably attacked that a little bit differently there. You know, you're in a little bit of an emotional dilemma of which way to go. Yeah, I definitely threw it different. I mean, uh, I had the advantage of playing Colm with a different A-Wing swarm. Um, so I thought I'd try and play it a little bit differently. It didn't work out. I'll go back to how I flew it the last time, I reckon. <laughs> Excellent, so I hope you guys out there really enjoyed this episode. We do want to keep improving what we're doing going forward, so thank you everybody who gave a tremendous amount of feedback in the first video, hence the dice tray, and hence changing the environment so that we could get some overhead shots. We are currently in the Element Games Northwest Gaming Centre, which of course is the home of the Stockport Sith Takers, so if you do want to come down and say hello, we're a bunch of friendly guys, make sure you get yourself involved in that. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more of this content going forward, make sure you join Join us here on the Sith Taker YouTube channel for episode 3, which will hopefully be coming very, very soon. Happy X-Wing, guys.